Hey guys, this is Computer Techie, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a cool uh, metallic text layer in Adobe Photoshop. Here's an example of what we're going to be doing today. It's uh, metallic with a slight bevel effect, and it has a very neat outline that goes around the entire text layer. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how to do it in Adobe Photoshop CS4. Once it's open, you want to go up to File, click New, uh, make the dimensions whatever you want depending on what type of uh, image you're going for. Click OK. And as you can see, here's my uh, white background layer. I'm going to select my Paint Bucket tool, which is also the Gradient tool, and uh, fill it in with black paint uh, from the foreground color. Now what I want to do is select my text layer and draw a small rectangle across the foreground layer. Now I'm going to type in computer techie because that is the text that I want to edit. Uh, size that up a little bit, make it smaller so I can move it around a little bit more. Okay. Oops. Alright, and um, now I'm going to use the move tool to put it somewhat in the center. Alright, that looks pretty good. Uh, now what you want to do is select uh, all of your letters in uh, the text layer. So hold control and then click right here in this text rectangular box. So hang on just a sec. There as you can see uh, I held control and oh, once you click inside there it selects every single letter in your text layer. Uh, this is very similar to the magic wand tool, although um, you can use the it to select only one part. So say all I wanted to select was C, I would use the magic wand tool to click on the C and it would only select C. Um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to select everything. Uh, once it's selected, make sure you have your text layer highlighted. And now go down to FX and then go to gradient overlay. Uh, as you can see, it has a gradient of foreground to background, black to white. Double click in this box. Uh, that's good. Black, that's uh, what I'm going to keep with. Change the foreground color to black as well. Make it dark. And as you can see, the entire uh, text layer is now black. Now you want to click right here in the center. Double click. And then I'm going to change this to a grayish color. Uh, dark gray. Uh, that looks good, so I'll just click OK. Uh, now you want to click on Bevel and Emboss. Uh, inner Bevel uh, is the style you want, and Technique is Smooth. Uh, the depth should be about 100. Uh, direction is really about preference. If you want it to go down, it will uh, show light shining downward. I think it looks better facing up. Uh, really, it's all about preference. You can change the size, uh, but it's not going to look like you've done anything if you have a very large size. Uh, same thing with a very small size. So I'll just do about 5 pixels. That looks good. And finally I'm going to click on Stroke. Change the color to gray as well. Click OK and make the size about 4 pixels. Click OK. And once you've finished editing, go ahead and click Control D. That deselects your layer. Uh, as you can see, it looks pretty neat. And you can go ahead and uh, control hit on that and then uh, hit this text layer. And then you can explore all the different features that uh, you can do with this FX tool. Uh, if you want to save it, go up to File. Uh, click Save As. Uh, I'll save it as Desktop Picture. Uh, go ahead and save that as a JPEG. Click Save. Um, depending on where you're going to take this photo, um, you probably are not going to want to do uh, maximum if you're trying to upload it onto Facebook or so because they have limitations on how large a file can be. Uh, but in this case, if you're doing it as a desktop photo, you're probably going to want to have the best uh, quality possible. So I'll just save it as 12. Click OK. And uh, once you go ahead and close Photoshop, you can see you have it saved. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave me a comment or send me a message. I really appreciate it.
Thanks. 